Hello there, friends, and welcome back to the channel and the penultimate, is that how you say that? The second to last spread of Halloween-y time, we're, we're, we're chucking through. We're like riding right along. This is such a random ad. This was definitely not in any of my kit lineups. It wasn't even in my radar for the longest. And I just wasn't feeling the kits I chose. I switched up a couple of the kits. No, I think I switched up like half the lineup, actually. I only stuck to like two of my Halloween kits that were from my October kit lineup video. But I don't know. I just, you know, you sit down and you had the plan and you're just not feeling it. So I was like, all right, what am I feeling? So I was looking through my stash and I was like, this is an older kit. I feel like I've been hanging on to this for a couple of years. Let's go ahead and use it. Um, and how I like get myself hyped up to use older kits, especially because sometimes you're just not as hyped to use them is I find older plan with me's with those kits and that usually will do the trick. So I looked at my stash, I already had foil for this, which is a big win because obviously it's already late. <laughs> so I was like, I don't wanna wait for foil too. Um, I had paired, so let me tell you what I'm using first. This is the Fangs kit from Caress Press. I think it's two years old at this point. Maybe it's a year old, but I feel like it's two years old at this point. So it was like time to use it. And I'm so glad that I put this away whenever I did with this um, foil from Lunar Designs. It's, um, I don't know what the name of the foil bundle is. I don't even know if it's in shop anymore, to be honest with you, but it's just a perfect theme. It's like a vampire um, fangs. <laughs> So I think it goes so great in red. I think it's like perfect. I must have bought it for this kit. Like I don't think that was a random buy. Because it just goes so well. And I am obsessed with how it turned out. I'm so glad I kind of pivoted and decided to do this. Because I think I was going to put down. I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to put down here. I think I was going to use an Apple Blossom Prints kit, but I just wasn't feeling like the vibes for some reason. Still a beautiful kit, um, but I'll just hang on to it for next year or whenever I get the sudden urge to switch out a Halloween kit. So I'm so glad I kind of pulled this out of the archives because I'm using up my stash and using up an older kit and it came out so good. I love, love, love the red. I've been on clearly I've been on a red and black kind of kick lately I I love that combo of colors to be fair like <laughs> it's not a kick I actually love that combo of colors so yeah I love 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 how this turned out and I think that's it for things that I pulled in like I don't think I pulled in anything else from another shop for this spread so yeah I don't have a topic for today's video but I am gonna share with y'all that I have been like I finally have been getting some of my Black Friday orders in and I've been kind of looking at it's kind of weird since I'm behind because I just filmed my December kit lineup. It should have went live already by the time you guys are seeing this, but I just filmed that like yesterday. So now I'm like trying to wrap my head around January. Meanwhile, January is a week away <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what I'm using for January. So I've been trying to wrap my head around what I want to use. And I feel like at one point I had so many options and now I'm just like, mm. <laughs> so I have basically my New Year's week and then everything else is a bit of a question mark. I think I'm going to use the Walking in the Rain kit from, I got it from Caress Press, I'm pretty sure. It's that like rainy, like blues and purples art set from Kittness Jess. I really love those colors for January specifically, although where I live, it's going to be snowing before it's raining, probably. That's, I mean, that's also been debatable lately because we've gotten so much rain this year. Like, the amount of rain we've gotten this year is, like, unprecedented, basically. We've gotten so much rain. So who knows? There might be a day where it does rain in January, but typically it's snowy times for us here. So, but I'm not the biggest winter kit girl, and I still bought winter kits knowing that I don't love winter kits because they were so cute. But now I'm like, mm winter <laughs> so I don't know what to do with January on the other hand February is jam packed like not enough weeks and this is with the intention of using two planners like still not enough weeks for February between because I'm trying to do like Valentine's Day spreads I'm also doing a Lunar New Year spread I'm also trying to do like a football spread for the Super Bowl 
and I am hoping that I'll have at least one kit that I'm releasing that should also play into February vibes. I'm really excited about it, but it's really in the preliminary stages, so I don't even want to float that too much. I'm hoping (laughs) I can get it out in January so that y'all will have it for February. We'll see. But I'm very excited. I have a couple things. I've been doing a lot of brainstorming on kit ideas, um, especially with some of the feedback I got. So I posted on my stories, gosh, I don't know, a few weeks ago now at this point, just asking y'all, what did, what do you want to see in 2024 as far as kit themes? And I feel like I got some fun responses, some things I've thought about, some things I never thought about. Um, so, and it's hard because like, I'm, I don't release as much as some of the bigger shops. So I really have to be kind of selective about what I end up doing and how I do it. So I'm trying to hit as many as I can in 2024. We'll see how far I go. Um, But I'm excited for you guys to see some of the things that hopefully will come to fruition as they live in my head. (laughs) But yeah, so hopefully there'll be another kit for me that will be in February. I plan to use it in February. I think it really could be used anytime, honestly. It's not really, it doesn't really need to be in February, but I'm thinking I'm going to use it in February. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. But, yeah, January, crickets, crickets. Like, I I have my New Year's week set. I'm thinking maybe I'll use the Walking in the Rain kit, like I mentioned. And then I'm considering the True Crime kit from Lunar Designs because... I want to start rewatching Criminal Minds because I know like the next season of Criminal Minds Evolution is coming. When it's coming, I don't know, but I know it is coming. Like I think they are starting to film in the beginning of 2024, maybe? Question mark? Not sure. Um, but yeah, and then we did see that this is not really related, but we saw that Bridgerton is going, I think, to release in, is it May and June? something like that, or June and July, something like that, um, the next season. I think that's what Netflix said. I feel like they they put it out there, but there wasn't that much buzz, probably because it's been a minute, but I'm excited. Um, (laughs) So I think that's coming. But yeah, for January, those are the only contenders so far. Of course, I have things I could use, like I got the winter, winter warmth kit from caress press i got that like paris lovey kit from caress press that was another kit it's just art the winter warmth kit was darcy art so like i have options but i don't feel like super excited about them however february i'm so excited about but yeah january i'm not as excited about i don't know so i'm trying to like work through that and figure out what i want to do for january and if i just want to make it like an anytime kind of month versus like winter kits. I don't know. So we'll see. I do like to use like, try to find things where there's blues and purples. Like I've thought about doing that wax lover kit from SPC, although I don't care about wax in the slightest. The kit is so cute. So I might do that. I don't know. Alas, let me know down below what you guys are using for January to see if you can spark any like inspiration because I desperately need some. I'm, I'm also like low-key, high-key waiting for some January kit lineup videos to show up. I think a couple, I probably have seen a couple so far, but I think I'm going to see more like the next couple of weeks, which is when a lot of people post their kit lineups. Although it is kind of sobering to see that a lot of folks are behind like me. So I feel a little bit better about my life, but Alas, if you guys have January ideas, drop them down below pretty please. Okay, so not completely related to what we were talking about, but I did want to clarify something from last video where I was talking about the process of kind of creating the alien superstar kit and like the ups, downs and all the in-between. I mentioned that there wasn't any Beyonce anything. There are... There have been some Beyonce quote overlays in Planahanna shop for a while. And Kristen's planner recently released some Renaissance underlays as well. So those have been, those underlays happened because I approached her about it and asked her about it. Um, But still, they, they are there as well. So like, no, like I'm not trying to discredit the work that 
other shop owners have done. Like, that's awesome. But there hasn't been anything pretty much other than that. Like, there hasn't been, like, foil bundles. There hasn't been kits. But, y'all, but there is now a Renaissance foil bundle, y'all. It is fantastic. Oh, my God. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Erica of Plan With Me Stickers, who actually I followed Erica when she was on YouTube, like just planning before she had a shop. Um, I miss her videos, honestly. But I am just so excited, y'all. I'll try to pop in a picture here if I remember editing me. Please remember. Um, so you guys can see it. It is beautiful. Beautiful. I have to shout out Plan With Me Stickers, um, Erica, for doing it. I also have to shout out Marche of Honeybee Plans. Like, let me tell you, Marche works hard in these streets. <laughs> She works hard in these streets. Um, but I have to shout her out because I know that she really helped a lot in creating that bundle. Um, she reached out to me for ideas and I think she took it farther than I could. Like, <laughs> like it's so good. I think it's amazing. Um, so definitely go and check that out if you picked up the Alien Superstar kit. That foil bundle is a match made in heaven truly I think silver is the way to go still for that kit but I also think red can work um, I'm not sure on all the different variations of foil that plan with me stickers has but she has a lot of foil options so I mean you can look at silver you can look at red whatever other versions of red like she has a sparkly red a shattered red I'm just throwing these out I don't know for sure that she has them um, black I think would work with the kit I think that's it without looking at her foils right now, but there might be other things that work. So I know there are some folks who watch my videos who PR for um, Erica shop. So if you, you know, can think of some foil choices that would be obvious choices, please pop them in the comments for folks um, so that you can go get your life because I will be buying multiple of these foil bundles just so you guys know. I'll be buying multiple of these foil bundles. Um, I'm so pumped. So, so pumped. And yeah, I'm so excited. It's so like cool to see positive impacts, like seeing that this kit came out and then seeing, you know, foil shops kind of following suit is so beautiful to me. And I'm just over the moon about it. So shout out to, again, shout out to Erica of Plan With Me Stickers and Marche from Honeybee Plans for putting this together in such a beautiful way. It's amazing, truly. Um, so yeah, that's been really exciting. I've been getting like tagged on all your stories about it and I'm just so pumped about it. So, okay, anyways, <laughs> that was just my little tangent, but I had to go ahead and float that out there. And speaking of Marche, I just watched her sticker haul. It's the next day, y'all, don't ask. Um, <laughs> I just watched her sticker haul where she's hauling the kit my kit and she was saying that she asked me to do it before and she she absolutely did i don't remember if it was when the album dropped or if it was towards the beginning of the tour i can't remember but i know at the time i was tapped out like financially for exclusive art but i also was terrified y'all like i even doing it now i was scared um not because of like how it would sell I just wanted it to be right like if you're gonna do a Beyonce kit baby it better be right <laughs> like, you know so I was I was terrified to take that on but also like who better than a stand to take it on truly um but I think at the end of the day that if I would have done it when she asked, y'all wouldn't have gotten the kit that you got. Like there wasn't, I don't think there was really, well, no, I don't think to this day, there are no Renaissance visuals. And I know y'all, I just know those of you who are fans slash stands slash hive members, I just know that B has all of it on her laptop and she is just, she doesn't like it. And like us peasants are like, B, it's so amazing. It's iconic. And she's like, nope. <laughs> she's like, nope, scrap the whole thing. I don't like any of it because she's Beyonce. So <laughs> um, I always joke with Bestie about that where I was like, you know, she got them visuals on her laptop. 
you know she do um but who knows eventually we'll get those visuals i don't know but there were no visuals obviously when it came out like when the album dropped and then i really didn't have any concept ideas until the tour and it took a bit for like you know the internet to catch up for me to find pictures like good good pictures not like pictures that someone took um while they were screaming and crying at the concert <laughs> like good quality pictures that I can use for an artist to reference to like create the kit so I don't think you would have gotten the kit you got if I did it then so know that but also I respect that y'all like to call me on my bullshit <laughs> I'm a fan of that keep doing that <laughs> keep doing that although there is a amazing thing that Marche brought to me recently that I have every intention of doing um I'm working on two mood boards right now, and I think when I'm done with those, I'm going to move on to that one because I want to make sure it comes out with enough time, unlike <laughs> the other things I've done lately. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I hope it's like a more active year for the shop. I know that it's just the fall is dormant and I think the fall is always going to be very dormant in my shop and it sucks because I like the holiday art and I like I love Halloween come on y'all that's my time that's my time but I just feel like with the fall semester it's so hard to get things out around that time so unless I mean I might be able to swing Halloween right before the semester starts but even then like thinking about when it's released the order processing will be in the midst of anxiety for me basically <laughs> so I don't know I'm hoping this upcoming year that I can at least do Halloween I think Christmas with when the art typically comes out is just going to be a no-go but I don't know who knows crazier things have happened I did not think I would do a Beyonce kit <laughs> and here we are so We'll see, but I hope overall it's an it's a more active year for the shop because I really I really love it. Like of course there's things I don't love about it, but creating it and and being able to share it with y'all is just like every damn thing. And I just want to be able to do that a little bit more. So that's my hope. One of my hopes for 2024. So all right. What happened this week? <laughs> I realize I haven't talked about this week at all. I think that this was like prime, pretty much prime advising weeks at work, right? Yeah, it was pretty much prime advising weeks at work. And oh, this was Halloween, like when we celebrated Halloween. Oh, things actually happened this week. It's coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Um, <laughs> so this weekend, which was I think the 29th, 28th, 29th, um, our town celebrated Halloween and, and that trick-or-treating happened this weekend, which I love. I wish all cities did that. Cities and towns just moved Halloween to celebrate on the weekend because, like, let's face it, like, celebrating on the weekday sucks for everyone, <laughs> except maybe kids, maybe. Um, but I, I feel like it sucks for them, too, because they got school the next day. Like, it just sucks for everyone. I feel like they should all move it to the weekend. So I'm so grateful that my town does it that weekend before Halloween. So, and those of you who have been following the channel know that we have new neighbors now, and they are so much better than my old neighbors. So we were actually able to, um, like, give out candy this year. The first year, I think, that we moved in, we all kind of sat on the porch and gave out candy. That was before, like, things got bad with, bad with my old neighbors. And really, we hadn't done that in probably three or four years. Um, I think we just did that trick-or-treating, like, where we gave out candy to everyone the first year that we lived here. So it was so nice this year to be able to do that with normal people. It was great. We chatted with them. We gave out candy. We got tons of trick-or-treaters. Um, Bay made a little Halloween playlist that we played. Like our neighbor, our new neighbor, let us borrow her Bluetooth. And we played like this little Halloween playlist. We had like um, the Haunted Mansion song. We had the... Um, like the Stranger Things theme song, like he did a good job. I was thoroughly loving it. Um, and I love that he did that. 
he has my whole heart for that. I love that. Um, but it was so fun. It was so nice. We just chatted and got to know each other a little bit more, handed out candy, saw the cute costumes and the kids. And it was just a really fun time. We ended up going to Spirit Halloween like day of, which is not my general <laughs> MO for starters. But again, we hadn't done this in like three or four years. So and of course, there was a pandemic too. <laughs> I got to throw that in there. Um, so maybe that's why I didn't miss it as much as as I would have if there wasn't a whole lockdown and quarantine and stuff where people weren't really doing it. But um, we went to Spirit Halloween on that Saturday, which was the 28th. And I just wanted to get like some little bit of accessories. I didn't end up really finding anything that great. And you, y'all know, it's like super overpriced and basically we're gonna throw it out like like I'm gonna wear it for an hour or two and throw it out um so I ended up just wearing my Mickey ears my Mickey Halloween ears it's like the pumpkin ears because we went to not so scary this year so I had them from that and I had a little like light up Mickey necklace too so I wore that and it was just so fun we had such a good time like I was like thank god for these new neighbors, Lord, it was so great. Um, so we did that. And then we also celebrated my dad's birthday this weekend. His birthday is the 30th of October, but that's a weekday, obviously, and I am working. Um, it's very rare that I can take time off around Halloween because of the nature of work. This is like gearing up for mayhem time. So I really like it's very rare that I can take time off around the end of October, mid-October. So um, we decided to just celebrate it on the Sunday. So I just got some cake and just went to hang out with them. Sunday is usually my day with my viejitos. Um, anyway, I always go and see them or at least try to go and see them on Sunday. And if I have something going on, I'll go on Saturday, but most of the time it's Sunday. Um, and I get to spend some time with them. So that was nice too. And I think, did I, oh no, I didn't get cake. You'll see that probably next week, but it's because my cousin came into town and we got the cake then. So I just spent the afternoon with them. And honestly, my dad probably forgot it was his birthday, to be honest. I think his family called him, but like he's not he's not remembering that. <laughs> he's definitely not remembering that. So but it was still fun to mark. And then I think that's it. I like did some cleaning. Otherwise, same old, same old, same old. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else happened this week. I think trick-or-treating was the highlight, but I feel like I'm missing something important that happened this week. What was it? There was a lot of firsts this week, this week I think, in regards to my new role at work, which was nerve-wracking, but good. Um, yeah, no, I can't think of anything else. Oh, there is. Yes, I had to. This is not really relevant. <laughs> so like, it's not fun. But I did have to get um, an electrician out this week. I was like, something else like happened this week that doesn't normally happen. We had an, ele an electrician come out because y'all. Another quick saga about my old neighbors. Um, it was basically her responsibility to take care of things like the like this. And basically our front porch light has been out for like three years at this point. And every time I would ask, she would say that the light was on back order. And I'm like, what light is on back order for three years? Like what light is on back order for three years? And also if there was a light that was on back order for three years, why don't you just get another light? I cannot y'all what I tell you I cannot I simply can't so I finally I was like I need to get this looked at and I actually wanted it fixed before Halloween because of the trick-or-treating and I knew or at least I'd hoped that we'd be sitting out there and handing out candy so he came and of course anytime any anyone comes to do work on your house it's just so much more money than you ever want it to be but it got fixed it's kind of it's kind of janky so I might have to call him back but we have a light, at least. We'll get there. But anyway, 
So that is everything, y'all. I love, love, love how this spread turned out. I hope you do too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see y'all real, real soon. Bye.